Why, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Greetings and good day, America. Happy Thanksgiving. Ruben Rowell coming at you here from South Riding, Northern Virginia, wanting to wish you all a well and safe and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much again for watching and tuning in all over the blogosphere, all over the social media platforms. También a toda mi gente, a todos los latinos americanos que se encuentran muy viendo este video, les deseo todo lo mejor y también un buen día de acción de gracias. So, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. So much to be thankful for, hopeful for, optimistic for. And um, God is still good. God is still good and very sovereign and on the throne. I know that 2020 has definitely not been an easy year. 2020 has helped bring America back to its knees. And not just America, but the world over. 2020 has not been easy. We've had a global pandemic, which has unfortunately killed millions of people. Deaths still continue. Um, deaths are still on the rise. And my best words of encouragement, my best support that I can offer is to please follow the CDC guidelines, the World Health Organization, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burks, um, just again to please continue washing your hands, wearing your masks, and um, trying to stay as socially distant as possible, all within reason, of course. We can't um, pause our lives and we can't put everything out on control, unfortunately, but we must be mindful and respectful of all the science. So speaking of science, I'd also like to thank especially the doctors and the nurses, all ER staff, the clinicians, all the people that are conducting the COVID testing. We thank you and we salute you. I know it's probably not always the fanciest job, the easiest and most glamorous thing to do. However, your efforts don't go unnoticed. Thank you. Thank you for all of that. Um, 2020, let's see what else. We've also had a lot of injustice, a lot of unnecessary death, a lot of violence, um, things that sometimes I can't make full sense out of and comprehend. However, I must continue praying and being sympathetic and being empathetic. Um, my heart goes out to the George Floyd family, Breonna Taylor family, knowing that as a person of color, as a minority, um, we don't always have it easy. However, we can thrive and we continue thriving. So um, continue prayers, continue prayers. I can't say and do and offer much to comfort you and console you, but know that you are not alone. And again, that we continue praying for you. We continue the fight. We can continue protesting peacefully. And um, that's it. That's all I've got to say on that end. Um, I'm also happy that despite a very contentious and very tumultuous election, 45's days are outnumbered and he will soon be leaving the White House. Um, <laughs> I'm honest. I am forthcoming. I am not shy of the fact that I am a staunch liberal Democrat and that the past four years definitely have been dark definitely have been bleak, definitely have been evil. So though as a devout Christian, I don't wish 45 ill will, nor his family, I'm certainly happy. And I'm not sorry that the days are coming to an end. And that as of January 20th, so long, sayonara, wish you the best, but I'm glad that your ass is leaving, <laughs> period. Um, thankful, so thankful that we have had an election which despite unsubstantiated claims, despite feeble attempts and frivolous lawsuits, 34, I believe, as of yesterday, which have been all tossed out, dismissed, and laughed out out of court, all dismissed. Um, I know that the Cybersecurity, the Infrastructure Security Agency, also members of the Election Infrastructure Government Council Executive Committee, all within the past couple weeks, uh, they're all part of the Homeland Security Department, um, have said in statements that we have had the safest and most secure election in American history. Zero, zero, nada, nothing, zilch, no proof of voter fraud anywhere. Um, I just know that 45 is scared. 45 is scared because as of January 20th, his executive privileges will be taken away. And um, he's got a lot of uphill, um, a lot of mountains that um, might spell legal problems. I. Again, sayonara, I don't have much sympathy for somebody who has been misogynistic, for somebody who has been um, a sexist, um, someone that has been a bigot, someone that doesn't um, condemn nor disavow white supremacy and uh, encourages nothing but hatred and violence and evil 
and tweets 24 hours a day. It's an embarrassment. It's a total embarrassment. However, I'm glad that those days are over. I think of certain songs, actually, certain different tunes that come to mind. Um, we've got, let's see. Hey, what is it? Um, hey, 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 goodbye. Na, 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. And also, uh, let's see, we've got every little thing that you say or do. I'm hung up. I'm hung up on you. And also um, another song, actually, a more recent song, which has come out by the Chicks, and it's called Tights on My Boat. Um, I like the refrain, the choir, um, chorus version of it, where it goes something along the lines of, um, you're gonna get what you've got coming to ya. You're gonna get what you've got coming to ya. You're gonna get what you've got coming to you. You are, you are. And I know perhaps that might be a little flat, that might be a little off key, but those are all songs that um, come to mind. So again, I don't wish ill will towards you or any members of your family, but um, sir, your days are numbered. I am so thankful. I am also thankful that, um, let's see, 45 appointed Miss Emily Murphy of the GSA finally, after 16 days, decided to do her damn job and via letter confirm the fact that President-elect Biden and Vice President-elect Harris won the election won the election fair and square. And starting Monday, they will have access to the president's daily briefings. Um, they will have access to the information from the White House, which is needed uh, to definitely help secure the smooth transition of power, that they can also get the funding for the uh, cabinets. Speaking of cabinets, how cool is that? How cool is that uh, Mr. Biden has appointed people of color, women, a Latino, to become the first Department of Homeland Security? That's just brilliant. That's amazing. And I think it's an awesome reflection of American life and American society and overall how we look as a culture, as a people. We keep evolving, we keep growing, we keep maturing, we keep developing. Um, again, I'm just so thankful, so, so thankful. Um, we will continue thriving, we will continue succeeding. Um, I just also want to give out a special shout out to all my friends at ABC, all the people from Good Morning America, Starting down with, let's see, Mr. George Stephanopoulos, Ms. Robin Roberts, Mr. Whit Johnson, um, let's see, Ms. Cecilia Vega, Ms. Amy Robach, Ma, Dr. Uh, Jennifer Ashton. Thank you all so much. Also for uh, David Weir and for Tom Yamas, you both rock. Love watching you guys every night and the weekends, providing us and, um, all the facts, all the truth, and keeping us abreast, keeping us up to date with what's going on with not only America, but the world over. Also, finally, to surmise and to stop babbling here and to stop talking so much, um, a special shout out to my friends, uh, the ladies of The View, uh, Miss Whoopi Goldberg, Miss Joy Behar, um, Miss Sunny Hostin, Miss Anna Navarro, um, also Miss Sarah Haynes, and Miss Megan McCain. You all rock. Thank you so much for just keeping things um, in a great, beautiful um, perspective and for just keeping everything light. Despite all the hardships, again, we shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome the hardship, the um, struggle. Um, new days. New days are upon us. And again, just thankful, again, that we will rise. We will continue rising. Let me stop talking. <laughs> Let me stop talking your ear off. Let me stop babbling and ranting. But I just wanted to, again, th uh, say thank you. Thank you for everyone watching and tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the rest of 2020. Wishing you and your families, uh, your loved ones, all a safe time. Again, remember to stay safe and let's look out for another, not just ourselves. So, so long, farewell, sayonara, arrivederci, um, au revoir. Uh, let me stop talking and uh, God bless America.